Binim Gamay had a breakout season this year, and I thought I'd go through the five races that made him sign for Intermarche Group, Monte Group Gobert. So this is La Guelia 2020, a really hilly course. You're going to see he does well on this a couple times. Uh, on the front, we've got people like Diego, Diego Rosa, um, as well as Marco Tizza. And the biggest one here is Gomez bridging across here. So you can see Diego Rosa looking really, really strong, going super hard on the climb. It's like a five minute ish climb, and Gomez bridges across, and he's got that really sort of nondescript. Uh, pedaling style like he doesn't look like he's ever trying at all um we also have julio Tocone as well i'm pretty sure for the italian national team but racing for track at the time now gamai you might think okay his results were good but they weren't unreal but i you have to take one thing into context delco marseille provence were literally bankrupt like abusing riders by like selling them to a million races to like annoy them and stuff like that like, they were a very dysfunctional team but he's still got really really good results i think that goes to show that he's got such good talent um he was after all the only junior who ever beat remco in a uci race he binned him in the sprint and you can see we go to the second lap again super super hard pace by diego rosa on the climb and yeah, looking really, really strong here, Gamay. Um, but again, he just looks very relaxed in the saddle. He pedals really, really nice high cadence. They drop Marco Tizza over the top. And this is a very technical descent and he had no issues again. So he goes to show a complete bike rider. Um, here are some of the guys trying to bridge across from behind. We go fast forward to the next climb and Chicone attacks really, really hard. And to be honest, Rosa and Gamay don't really try and close it. You can see they're half going, but they're just on a different speed. Anyway, skip forward, uh, nothing much happened, but Gamay, Binned Diego Rosa in the sprint to take second place. So really good result. This was in 2020 before Rona. Tour of Dubes, he bridged across early doors uh, to the B&B hotel rider, um, who I believe was, I'm not actually sure who it 100% was. I'm pretty sure he got dropped in the end. Uh, but anyway, Gomai then got bridged across by a couple other guys, but he was in the break for a long time, a lot longer than everyone else um, who eventually bridged up to them, uh, including like Loic Vliegen, Paris Pontre, Roman Hardy, and like decent French level riders, like obviously it's a it's a like a Coupe de France race, um, but it's still pretty pretty decent level. And this again was when I was like, yeah, he is good, um, because you know you don't get coming second in these races. And you can see here the guys who've all bridged across and Gamay obviously have been out there a long time. But look at his pedaling style; I think it is it is pretty decent. And you can see again he doesn't look too too stressed at all. Um, and yeah, unfortunately for this footage, they really don't seem to have very much. We can have some nice chat with the French man. Um, but anyway, there's Lloyd Bleegan winning. Basically, just skip to that. Um, and you'll see Gamay binning off everyone else in a while. Uh, he beat Paris Pontre and Roman Hardy in a sprint. Um, and Paris Pontre is not, you know, not a bad sprinter. But you can see that they don't even get out the wheel. He put his bike lengths them, into them straight off the wheel. So good result for him. He actually later went on to win that race in 2022. Uh, and this is Giro della Toscana 2020. See, Gaviria goes really early and Gamay tries to close it straight away. He does get beaten by Rob Sternard and Ethan Hayter, but it's actually a really, really good sprint. We're going to show it from the front angle now because he does like have a really good bunch sprint. You can see Gaviria goes really long, but on the left-hand side, you can see Gamay sprinting and the only people who beat him are Rob Stanard, who is a really good sprinter, to be fair, in his own right, and Ethan Hayter, who obviously like, you know, um, has won a fair amount of races in his time. But yeah, Gamay, super, super strong result. Um, here's Trofeo La Guelia 2021, uh, which, yeah, is a super strong performance from him. He is, like, finished sixth in this year. Uh, he didn't make the front group. It was a harder race with Balcom Olima winning ahead of um, people like James Knox, Mary Savinant, and Egan Bernal. And this is the Royal Bernard Drone Classic. Bagioli won, but he finished seventh with sort of people like Daryl Impey and everyone else. But yeah, that's the sort of top five results that really made him sign the contract uh, with, I guess, well, uh, Inti Marshi, Wanty Group Gobert. I've been banging on about the boy for years, but it's good to see he got some good results this year um, and won a World Tour one day race. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.